can I speak about respect? Now, I think we all should be respectful of each other. Okay. But let me say it in this way. women and i am going to talk about men as well women how can you demand respect from people men or women if you are wearing very tight clothes clothes that are so tight to where someone can see your shape. Probably so tight to where someone probably can see what's under your legs. How can you demand respect if you are showing random people what a spouse should only see. I believe we all should respect each other, but I think there are certain things that we may do that may not get people to respect us. There is a woman and she, I guess, hopefully she doesn't do it now, but I believe I persuaded her to stop wearing tight clothes. I believe she told me the other day and I forget the exact words I believe she told me that people are, I guess, more respectful to her. Yes, she doesn't dress, I don't think she dress in that fashionable, I guess, young way with the tight clothes and stuff like that. A person may say she dresses as an old woman while being young. Okay. I think the way we dress, we are going to attract certain types of people. So if you are out there, women, showing your cleavage, wearing one of those shirts that rise above the stomach to show your, I guess, your stomach and your behind. If you wear things like that, are you going to attract an honorable man? I believe you are going to attract people perhaps like you because if you are wearing stuff like that what is the chance of you being honorable think about it and i am speaking about respect i think we must respect ourselves in order to receive respect, right? If I come outside and take some markers and mark my face up and rip my clothes and start talking in a strange way, will I receive respect? Probably not.
if dressing in a whorish way, if you want to dress like that, if you believe that is the only way you can get attention, I believe that is a self-esteem problem. Just because popular people dress in that way, it doesn't mean you should dress in that way as well. How can you dress, and I have to be careful in what I say, how can you dress as a loose woman and want people to see you as honorable? I think there may be more bad men out there than good men. If you are trying to attract a good man, dress respectable, act respectable. If you want to wear revealing clothing, I think there is a very high chance that you will mainly meet bad men. I am talking about respect. Men, if you are sagging your pants, showing your underwear, tattoos on your face, tattoos on your hands and arm and stuff like that. Why would anyone respect you? If you use foul language and act in a how can I say this in a good way, in an animal-like way, like... How can I say this without saying the wrong thing? Acting really wild, with your pants hanging down off your behind, with tattoos and all that stuff on your body, now, I have seen some dreadlocks that look okay, but I believe the majority of men I have seen with dreadlocks, it, to me, it doesn't look good. And the problem I have too with men with very long dreadlocks down their back and stuff and wearing skinny jeans. I am telling you, I believe it makes most men look like women, which I am not trying to insult anyone. I believe if you want people to respect you, you should carry yourself a certain type of way. If you look at Lil Wayne, I believe I saw something on YouTube with uh, Ty Dallas Sign or whatever his name is. Why would you want to look like that person? or Lil Wayne, or something like that. I believe the way we dress, I believe certain ways of dressing carries a certain type of spirit. I'm serious. You may be a certain way, but if you choose to dress in that certain way, I believe you will begin to adopt I guess I can say that type of mentality, I am telling you. 
there was a woman I used to help. And I believe I have a gift of discernment. And um, I was telling her this and that. And she asked me, I believe she asked me, can she wear makeup? And I don't particularly think makeup is bad, but I think for some people it is bad. I told her in so many words, if you put on makeup and keep it on, you are going to backtrack you are going back to sin. And many times she kept on, she kept on asking me and asking me and asking me. And it came to a point to where I started to get irritated, I believe. And I believe I told her, look, you can do it, but I believe you are going to go back to sin. Being being the way you are, I think makeup is a weakness to you. I believe I said some stuff like that to her. And I haven't spoken to her in quite a while, but I believe I saw something. And I believe she is back in her old ways. I think there is a spirit to a way people dress. So you may be dressing like something because I guess you want to be popular, but be careful in how you dress. You may be wearing tight clothes and you may not be a loose woman. But I believe if you continue on that path with painting your face and tight clothes and stuff like that, I believe you are going to be loose. Respect. In my past, well, I did not really respect many women anyway, whether they wore tight clothes or not. But I guess even more so, I believe I had probably less respect for a woman that would reveal her body. Men. And I don't want to say this in the wrong way. I don't want to be How can I say this in the right way? And please don't misunderstand me. I don't think I would want to be friends with a man that would sack his pants in public and have dreadlocks all the way down his back with tattoos all over his face and hands and, and who act wild. So please change the way you dress. Please change the way that you behave. If you are doing wrong, if you are trying to change, maybe it is the way you dress may be the problem. Maybe if you begin to dress in a respectable way, maybe that will help you change your ways. And you may say I am wrong or whatever else, but please try it. I think more than one woman where I, where I believe I told them to change the way they dress, take out that weave and stuff like that, I believe it helped them change the way they act. I think, man, 
I think in some cases, some people's self-esteem is so low. Where am I going with this? I think in some cases, some people's self-esteem is so low to where they believe they need a whole bunch of makeup. They need to wear tight clothes. They need dreadlocks. They need to sag their pants and stuff like that. So I believe if you dress in a normal way, if I can say that, how can I say this? I think some people's personality change based upon the way they dress. What is that? Kevin, if I have my natural hair, if I don't put on makeup, if I don't put on nice clothes, you know, I am kind, I am humble, you know, I am not arrogant, but let me put in some weave, some makeup, some tight clothes. I am prideful. I am talking trash. I am like this other person, like that person's personality changes, like this person is a new person or something. If you are like that, perhaps you should not change the way you dress in that type of way. With the person I am helping now, I think it has helped that person so much by changing the way that person, am I saying that right? I believe it has helped that person so much by changing the way that person dresses. So if you have this false confidence or this other type of personality based upon the way you dress, perhaps you should not dress like that. And not only with that person, but I think with other people as well. So let me stop here. God bless you.